house plants now. And I can't just put a house plant in a box. I mean, I could, but I'd be a really bad house plant mom if I did that. Hi everyone and welcome back. We are going to be decorating for Easter today and I'm very excited. I love Easter. It's my favorite holiday. I did some DIY crafts on a previous video and now I'm going to decorate my house. My kids are gone for the night. They are staying at their grandparents' house and I am very thankful for the time that I have been able to spend just deep cleaning this house and getting everything done. Decorating is nice because I take stuff down, gives me the opportunity to dust and just get my house in order. Realistically, I only like decorate my dining area, my mantle. Um, I put some stuff on that little shelf area over there. I don't go all out. I think I decorate the most for Christmas, but I do like to decorate for pretty much like Halloween, Christmas, and then Easter is a big one, just because it's my favorite holiday. But I just don't always have the time or the money to just invest in a bunch of decor. Um, a couple of my door decor items are actually my mom's and I do really cherish them and love them. Those are her little bunnies. Um, so it's just kind of, I make do with what I've got. I feel like you see some things on social media and online of just like extravagant, beautiful, expensive decor. And I just want to be normal and honest and real. And I don't have that type of money. And I know that not everybody else does. So I like to just help other moms, you know, see that you can just make, you don't have to have all the money. Like you can make simple things great and beautiful and your holiday can still be wonderful. So let's get going, let's decorate, let's dust, and let's get this house ready for Easter. Okay, so this has not been a problem for me until this year. So I take normal decor items down and I just put them in the box where I store my Easter decorations and or any like for any holiday, this is what I do. I just put the normal household decor items in the box. So then when I go to take down the Easter decorations, they're just stored in that box. And then I put them back where they go. But I have house plants now and I can't just put a house plant in a box i mean i could but i'd be a really bad house plant mom if i did that and this is janet and i love her i took a clipping from a plant at work and i love her so she means a lot to me and i need to find her a place that's not on my mantle because i don't it, i'm just not having space and this is giving me anxiety because what am i supposed to do this is also another one I'm drowning in houseplants in the most happy way ever, and I'm okay with that, but I've just never had this issue before. days ago which is where I got those cups that I did the DIY video on I also let my daughter pick out a couple of the little like jelly window clings she loves these things so I bought four and when she gets home tomorrow she's gonna see that I decorated and I'm gonna let her put these on the window and I know she's just gonna be so excited so I'm excited to do that with her tomorrow So I do have a bunch of decor items that I don't put out until the day of, mostly because they're not decor, they're just dishes. Stuff that I put the cookies on, doubled eggs on, stuff like that. So that will stay on the box until the night before the day of when I prep all of the food and the appetizers and I lay it out for everybody when they come before dinner. So yeah. <sighs> okay. Since I don't have my kids tonight, I am going to lay out all of the Easter stuff and just get it organized in between my kids and my niece and my nephew. I'm also just gonna go over a few things that I've added to each kid's bucket that is very cost-effective, simple, and is like a cute Easter idea. Fun fact, I'm awful at stocking stuffers, but I feel like I do really good at Easter baskets, but I feel like Easter baskets 
and stockings are like the same thing, but I don't know, I suck at stockings, but Easter is just wonderful. So if you saw my previous video, you saw that I got these cute little buckets and then I put all of the kids' names on the buckets. Super simple, these buckets were $3.75 at my local Fred Meyer. Then I also got these at the dollar store and I put all of the kids' names on them for Easter day so they can just have their drinks and they were $1.25 so I really just don't care what happens to them. So I'm going to organize everything and just kind of show you some of the cheap, cute items that I got for all of the kids. And there are different items in here for each kid because these kids are all different age groups. So I did get a pack of bunny ears on Amazon. There was like eight in here. Um, I actually used four last year and now I'm using four this year. So very cost effective and it was like $10 for eight ears. These are sticker egg, uh, egg racers. So they come with stickers and then you put your little egg in it and then the kids can race their eggs. These were $1.25 at Walmart, I believe. I found these super cute TY Beanie Baby um, keychains at the dollar store. So they were $1.25. I got this for my daughter and my, ooh, and my niece. Uh, super cute, my daughter loves keychains. She can put it on her backpack, on her purse, anything that she wants. I will, check the price on these. I don't remember exactly how much I spent on these. I got a pack of ring pops on Amazon. Honestly, I probably didn't spend that much. I probably maybe spent like seven, eight dollars on them. My kids, you'll see that there's not a lot of candy in their Easter baskets. I'm actually not fond of a bunch of candy for any holiday because I just don't want my kids high off sugar. But I, I'm not a crunchy mom by any means. Um, while I don't give them sugar, I will give them Doritos. So, which balance. For my niece, yes, yes, she's three. Um, I found these cute, so actually, I made her a um, Barbie house for Christmas. So I found this Barbie furniture at the dollar store, $1.25, a little couch and a little bed. So she's gonna love it, it's for her Barbies, and I'm super stoked. For the boys, the dollar store they're not oh this is a hot wheel um this these are just like cars but they're they're at the dollar store like they're just boys don't care who cares my kids always get pajamas in their easter baskets so they will be getting those um growing up i lived in california and every single year we always got like flip-flops and a new bathing suit my sister still does that because she still lives in california but living here in the pacific northwest um, we're not going to need swimsuits for a couple more months. At Walmart, they have these little eggs that are Smarties that also comes with stickers. I know I said that I didn't, I, or that I don't like candy. I don't, I don't, but I will still allow some. So I got a pack of Kit Kats. There's like six. I'm going to take these to the office, the two, and then each kid will get one bar in their basket. <laughs> Carrot plates or Christmas, Easter day. These are a dollar at Walmart Peeps marshmallow flavored candies. I bet they're gross. Again, I'm not a total Grinch. I give them some candy, but not a ton. Um, for instance, the eggs, there's no candy in any of the eggs. I have toys, little, I'll show you. I have toys in all of their eggs. Oh, these are for, I got these for my kids um, because these are their favorites and Kinder Eggs are a big thing in our house, so those will go to them. I am doing a um, Peeps recipe with like shish kebabs fruit. So you stick just a bunch of fruit on a stick and then I top it with a Peeps. Honestly, my kids only eat the fruit and not the candy and I'm okay with that. I found a Gabby dollhouse thing on clearance for $4 at Walmart so I will be putting that in my daughter's Easter basket and then I found a dino smasher on clearance as well so that will go into my son's basket this is slime I didn't know that when I first got the first one it's slime I probably just should have read it I wonder if this one is I don't know but the other dino smashers were and now now my son's obsessed with them and we can't go back. 
chalk bubbles is always something that goes inside of my kids' Easter baskets. It's just one of the things that we always do. So I did also get my kids. Where are Wade's pajamas? I did get my kids jumbo poppets. These were on Amazon and I think I spent about 10 Maybe I'll just link like Easter basket stuff that I bought off of Amazon. I'll do that. I'll put a link down below on my store front. It's a cheeseburger. So the kit, my two did get these giant poppets. I think I did spend about $10 on each of them. I also forgot that I got them stuff from Target. I think I went a little overboard. So another Easter basket item that my children are getting is Pokemon cases for all of their Pokemon cards. I'm really excited for this one because my kids have been obsessed with Pokemon cards. So I'm really, really excited for them to have books for all of their cards. This one is for my daughter and well, this one is for my son. I'm super, super excited. They are going to love these. And like I said, uh, they always get pajamas, my daughter. Got those ones and my son did get Pokemon pajamas from Target. Pokemon cards for their Pokemon little cases. Um, another thing that I do for my kids in their Easter baskets, they always get pajamas and then they always get new shoes. So I got them Cat and Jack shoes from Target. These were on sale. Pink for my daughter, blue for my son. I'm really excited for these. They are going to love them. Easy, simple little sticker stuffer things from Target. One for my niece, one for my nephew. Um, I also got these uh, Hatchable Alive things for my daughter and my niece. They're going to love those. They got some at the ocean um, when we went a couple weeks ago, so I know they're going to love them. Um, what is this? Mega Gross Minis. The, the things that are out are just weird. On sale, Target, my son. Uh, Squishmallow, my daughter. I think those were $5.99 at Target. Puppy Corn, Scented Surprise. I completely forgot what I bought. Daughter balls son okay so the last and final thing that i did get for my two kids um i got them like sleepy pillows i haven't even opened up these yet so i am super excited oh this one's my daughter's My daughter got a unicorn. I think I did spend about $30 on each. I try and make the amount of money that I spend on both of my kids equal. So my daughter got a unicorn. And I think I got my son a dinosaur. Oh, I pissed off one of the dogs. are so cute okay so earlier I did mention how I did um, I didn't get any eggs with um, candy in them I am lazy I got I, I bought pre-filled eggs and I'm not I'm not sorry about it I just I don't the the eggs and the things one year I got candy and I got eggs and then I, I the candy was too big for the eggs and it was just a disaster and I'm just not all oh, I got 160 pre-filled eggs and I'm not I'm not sorry about it I'm just I'm not and they all have toys in them um are these toys gonna end up scattered oh wow that's cute are they gonna end up scattered around my house and probably broken and thrown away maybe but this box Ooh, I hate my life. Why did I do that? Whatever. This box cost me 30 bucks. 160 eggs for 30 bucks pre-filled. Worth. Oh, that's cute. See, worth my time. I just, I don't even mind. It is what it is. And, oh, look, a little bracelet. Oh, a little egg bracelet. See, that's cute. And for four kids, it's supposed to be a nice day. I'll go hide 160 eggs and just let them run rampant. Totally worth 30 bucks. I'm not even sorry. It is what it is. These are little erasers, super cute. My daughter can take it to school. Oh my God, these are so cute. Bouncy ball, my son will break something. Totally worth it. Squishy, that's just a buzz. Oh, it's a bunny buzz, so weird. Another bracelet, a 
a slap bracelet. This was totally worth it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And there's no candy. I don't, they got some candy in their baskets and that's more than enough. So I'm satisfied. This is gonna be great, oh my gosh. I can't wait till Easter. Thank you everyone for following me along with this Easter decoration basket making video. I hope to see you guys next time and I hope you have a great holiday. Thank you. Bye.